Hello there, my name is Manuel and you might know me from the podcast Bitcoin Verstehen that I run together with Jonas. Bitcoin Verstehen means understanding Bitcoin in German and in this video we are going to show you how to set up and run the Bitbox O2 from the Swiss company Shift Crypto AG. As you might know, security is very important in the Bitcoin world and we can't underline enough its importance. In our eyes, the Bitbox represents the optimal balance between user friendliness and security. So let's get started. Folding down the lower section reveals the scope of delivery. You should have the Bitbox itself, a micro SD card, an USB A to USB C adapter, and some rubber pulls you can attach to your Bitbox if you want to. An USB C extension cable. Also included is a quick start guide. And most important, some Bitbox stickers. You can get the link to the software from the quick start guide. By following the link, you need to select the operating system of your computer or smartphone. You can choose between Windows, Mac OS, Linux and Android. Since we are working with a Mac, we click on Mac OS, download the file and install it. When you start the software for the first time, you will be asked to connect the Bitbox to the computer. Before we do that, we need to prepare the Bitbox. No worries, there's not much work to do. You only need to insert the SD card into the Bitbox. On the side of the Bitbox, you will find the provided slot. Take care that the SD card is locked in place. You will hear a soft click. After that, you only have to remove the protection film and you're ready to go. The first time you connect the Bitbox to your computer, the software on your computer will prompt you to update the firmware. You can download the update by clicking on Install Firmware Now. You can see the progress both on the software interface and on the Bitbox itself. Alright, the firmware of the Bitbox is now up to date. The display of the Bitbox shows Tap this side in two different directions. You have this adjustment option every time you connect the Bitbox to your computer. It is important to note that the Bitbox does not have a touchscreen. You can control it via two touch sensitive fields on the top and the bottom. To adjust the display in the right direction, I click on the lower touch sensitive area of the Bitbox. As part of the pairing process, four sequences of dials will be shown on the computer. These also appear on the Bitbox. If they match, confirm by clicking in the upper right area of the Bitbox and then click Continue on your computer. We are now asked if we want to create a new wallet or restore an old one. Since we are setting up the wallet for the first time, we click on Create Wallet. Afterwards, you can assign a name for your wallet. As an example, I will enter Bitcoin Verstehen here and click Continue. A message appears on the computer that the process now continues on the Bitbox itself. The Bitbox display will show you the name of the wallet you just created. When the correct name is shown on the display, you can confirm it by tapping in the upper right area of the Bitbox. Next, you will be asked to set a password. This password must be entered each time you connect your Bitbox to the computer. The password is entered via the Bitbox. As mentioned before, the password is not entered via the display itself, but using the touch sensitive areas on the top and the bottom of the Bitbox. In the middle part of the top area, you can choose from different types of signs by tapping on the area. For example, if you want to start with a lowercase a, you select the series of letters by clicking on the corresponding area on the lower touch sensitive area. After that, I click on ABC and then select the A. I enter all other letters and numbers in the same way. For example, if I want to add a capital B after the lowercase a, I select capital ABC 
in the upper middle area of the bitbox and navigate through the lower areas until the capital B can be selected. If you want to use a number, you have to select 123 in the top middle area. For example, if I want to add a 1 after the capital B, I select 123 in the upper middle area of the bitbox and navigate through the lower areas as mentioned before. If you want to add a 2 afterwards, just click on the corresponding area. As with any password, we highly recommend you to use capital letters, lowercase letters and numbers as well and make sure to create a password that has more than 4 characters. When you have finished entering your password, click the right area of the upper and lower touch sensitive area simultaneously. You will now be asked to enter the password again. After you've entered your password once again, click the right area of the upper and lower touch sensitive area simultaneously. Keep in mind that the bitbox will reset by itself if the password is entered incorrectly 10 times. Now we create a backup of the bitbox on the SD card. The backup represents one of two ways to get your bitcoin if you should lose or damage your bitbox. Before the backup is created, you must take notice of a total of 5 nodes on your computer. First, I should store my backup in a secure location, which means that no one may have access to it. Second, my backup is not password protected. Anyone with access to it can access my wallet and thus to your bitcoin. Third, if I lose or damage my bitbox, the only way to recover my funds is to restore from my backup. There's another way, which Jonas will show you in a moment, but the backup by using the SD card is the most comfortable one. Fourth, if I lose or damage both, my backup and my bitbox, then my funds will be lost. Keep in mind that this applies if you lose the option presented later by Jonas as well. Fifth, I should not insert my micro SD card backup into a computer, phone, printer or any device other than a bitbox. Once we have confirmed all the boxes, we can click continue. Lastly, you only need to confirm the current date on the bitbox that will be linked to the backup. If the date is correct, you can confirm it by clicking on the check mark in the upper right corner. Now the message appears on the computer that the backup has been created. The SD card can now be removed. You can do this by pushing the SD card slightly in and pull it out of the bitbox. For the usage of the bitbox, you don't need the SD card anymore. However, since it provides unencrypted access to your funds, you should store it securely and physically separate it from your bitbox. Hi, I'm Jonas, and after we set up our bitbox and use the SD card to back up our private keys, I will show you how to use the bitbox app to do transactions and change the different settings. So let's head to our computer and start the Bitbox app. First of all, let's start with the main page of the Bitbox app that shows up every time we connect the Bitbox to our computer. At the top, your available balance is displayed in Euro and in Bitcoin. Of course, at the moment it shows a balance of zero, but we will change that in a minute. On the left side, we see the different accounts of our Bitbox. At the moment we only set up one account, but in one of the next steps we will show you how to add more accounts to the app. Below that we see the point Manage Device, where we can change the different settings of the bitbox itself. We will explain that in detail in the next steps. But now we will have a look at the settings of the bitbox app. You find this part on the left side as well. On the left side of the settings screen, you can choose your currency in which your balance will be displayed in the app. In our case, we choose the euro. On the right side, we have different advanced settings that you don't have to pay attention to at the beginning, but we will show you these in the last steps of this tutorial. At the moment, the Bitbox app is displayed in English, but if you prefer, you can choose a different language. Therefore, you find in the bottom right corner, Other Languages. Here you can choose between different translations for your Bitbox app. Just choose your preferred one and all texts are displayed in your language. Now we have set up the Bitbox app, changed the currency and the language. We already showed you how to create a backup of your private keys on the SD card, but of course you can display the recovery seed containing the 24 words as well, so that we have two backups for the bitbox that we can store in different locations. 
Therefore, we minimize the risk that we lose our funds if somehow one of our backups gets destroyed or stolen. For showing the recovery seats in the Bitbox app, we go to Manage Device on the left side and we see in the section Secrets Show Recovery Words. Now we get the notification that the Bitbox app will show us the 24 words and we should write down the words on a piece of paper in the right order. The correct order is crucial. And it's very important that you don't store the recovery seats in a digital document, take a picture of it or back it up in the cloud. Because everything that is digital to store can easily be stolen. We can only repeat it again. Everybody that is in possession of your recovery seat or the SD card can access your Bitcoin funds, so the security of your backups is really important. So we will click on confirm and we will have to unlock the Bitbox by entering our password again. Now the 24 words are displayed on the Bitbox itself. On the top you see the number of the word, so the position in the order of the recovery seat. And below that you can see each word of the recovery seat. The words are displayed in English and are at least three letters long. With a touch on the button below the arrow, the Bitbox will show us the next word. And now you write down these words by hand in the correct order. And we will go through them word by word right now. When you are finished writing down the words, you can click on continue on the right top corner. After we have wrote down every word, the Bitbox asks us to confirm that we wrote down the words in the correct order. For this, the Bitbox shows us the 24 words again, but this time we see a selection of words and we have to select the correct one for each word in the recovery seat by clicking on the arrows at the bottom of the device. When we have found the correct one, we click select on the bottom. Now the Bitbox asks us for the second word of the recovery seat and we select the correct one. Then we can go through all 24 words and confirm each of them. Now we have confirmed each word of a recovery seat and we selected every word correctly. So we can store the recovery seat at a secure location and we have a second backup additional to the SD card. We have set up the Bitbox app and we wrote down the recovery seats, so we have two backups for our wallets including the SD card. Now we can create our first transaction. So let's start receiving our first Bitcoin or Satoshis on our Bitbox. For that, we choose the account which we want to use to receive the transaction. At the moment we only got the account that is created during the setup process and it is displayed on the left side, so we select it by clicking. In the account we see in the top right the button Receive. In the next step, the Bitbox app will show you a receiving address and the Bitbox will always display 20 different addresses to receive your Bitcoin that you can click through by using these arrows. These different addresses will always be shown to you as this increases the security and most importantly privacy. It doesn't matter which address you will choose, since all addresses belong to your wallet. And for every new receiving process, the Bitbox app will always show you different addresses each time. For showing the complete address, you have to click on Show and verify full address on device. The address will now be displayed in the Bitbox as a QR code and as an address to copy. You can also see the address on the Bitbox for checking again whether the two addresses match. This prevents you from the risk that your computer is displaying a wrong address because it was hacked for example. On the Bitbox you then have to scroll through the address by swiping along the bottom to check if the address matches the one displayed in the Bitbox app on your computer. Afterwards you can either scan the QR code for example with your wallet on your smartphone or copy the receiving address and send it to the sender. We recommend that you start with a small amount to test so that you can get used to the entire process. After that you can receive large amounts. When you have received Bitcoins you will see your balance in Euros and in Bitcoin on the start page as well as the transaction that we have received. Now that we have received our Bitcoins, we can of course also send them. To do so, we click on the send button in the upper right corner. Of course, this button is only displayed if we have funds on our Bitbox. Afterwards, we can enter our receiving address in the next step, the address to which we want to send the Bitcoin. Either we have copied this and we now simply paste it to the field, or we can scan a QR code with the camera. Then we can choose the amount, either the entire amount, for this we click here above on the small box, or we choose only a proportion of our balance. Then we can also select the priority, that is how quickly I want to have the transaction confirmed the Bitcoin network on the blockchain. 
The higher the priority, the higher the fees can be for this transaction. Besides that, I can also optionally enter a note so that I know for example what I sent this transaction for or to whom. To complete the transaction, we then click on Review at the bottom right. Then the Bitbox shows us again an overview with all data of the transaction, the receiving address, the amount and also the fees. This information is also displayed on the Bitbox itself, so you have to check again whether the information matches the information displayed in the Bitbox app. We click once on the arrow at the top right, and by pressing with both fingers, we confirm the transaction. We can add multiple accounts in the Bitbox app, for example if you want to have different saving accounts on your Bitbox. For adding a new account, we go to the Settings section in the Bitbox app, then to Manage Accounts, and then we click on Add Account. Now we can name the new account, then we click Add Account and the Bitbox app tells us that the new account was created. So we can click Done. We will then find all the created accounts on the left side of the Bitbox app main page. You can always choose the account you want to receive your Bitcoin or to send your funds from. All accounts are backed up together on the SD card and the recovery seat. In the default settings, the Bitbox app is using the servers of Shift Crypto to connect to the Bitcoin network. But of course you can add your own full node to the Bitbox app. We would like to point out that for connecting your own full node you need separate hardware or software to run it. These are not included in the functionality of the Bitbox. To add the node, we go to Settings on the left side in the Bitbox app, and at the bottom, we find Connect your own full node. Here you can see that the servers of Shift Crypto are displayed as the default settings. All we have to do is paste the address of the node here at Enter the endpoint, and we click Check in the bottom right corner. And the Bitbox app will confirm that the connection was successful. And now we can click Add to add the node. At the top, we can see that your node is now displayed in the list of the servers as well. In the last step, all we have to do is to remove the default servers of Shrift Crypto by clicking Remove and confirm this decision in the notification box. So now the Bitbox app will use your node to connect to the network. For security and privacy reasons, you should not share your full node address. Therefore, we blurred out our address in this tutorial. We can always reset the factory settings by clicking Reset to Default in the upper right corner so that the servers of Shrift Crypto will be used again. Now we have fully set up our Bitbox, we created our backup on the SD card and we wrote down our recovery seed and now we can simply unplug our Bitbox from the computer. We only need the SD card or the recovery seed to restore our wallet if the Bitbox get destroyed or stolen, otherwise we can keep the backups in a secure location. We only have to connect the Bitbox itself to the computer if we want to send the transaction or to create a new receiving address. However, for receiving Bitcoin, the Bitbox doesn't have to be connected to the computer itself. And now you know how to keep your funds safe with your Bitbox. And if you have any further questions, you can always contact the Shift Crypto support. Thanks for watching.